Hello. I see her. Wizard of Legends. Oh, I must have speed on my robe. I was like, that feels fast. But uh, yeah, in the last part we won, so uh, now we don't get to win for two more parts, I think. Oh no, I'm just damaging armor. Why do I feel fast? That's not it. Hmm. Alright, well, let's go. Maybe it's just that I've been playing another game where I've been slow. Okay. Yeah, I like second boss, wind boss. Because, uh, I want practice against the wind boss, but I don't want them to be third. Also being messaged on Steam. Okay. Does not require my immediate attention. Um, so, I picked up nine parchments. I just tried to cycle through my spells to pick an AoE spell to start out the battle. I was like, oh yeah, I'll hit right bumper to, to swap my spell. <laughs> As long as I don't try to dash with the X button. I just blocked that beam with that pillar. I love the reach on this basic. That's an enhanced basic other than the basic we've got. And it's not even a hundred. Why is everything so cheap? Oh, that's a dash, so it would replace our dash. Hmm. Yeah, I can I can see basic dashes not actually needing to cost that much. Especially not enhanced. One thing I'm noticing is that this basic doesn't really deal that much damage. First hit taken of the run. Oh, maybe I'm just used to different damage numbers from playing nine parchments. If an attack doesn't deal more than 20 damage, it's garbage! Yeah, I mean, things feel like they're dying. I'm just... these numbers are weirding me out. <laughs> Once again, a wasted... thing. That's a chance for any Arcana... Okay, to enhance any Arcana used and lower its cooldown. Right now we have three unenhanced Arcana. Hey, I'll scan her. What's the scouter say? Increases the damage of your signature. I mean, any of these sound pretty cool, except for maybe seeing enemy health values. Not sure I see the value in that. I mean, actually I do, but I don't think it's worth spending gold on. <laughs> oh, maybe there's someone with some sort of sick start with... Chaos Scanner strat. Where they don't waste a single attack on anything. They perfectly use all their spells across the entire game. It's like, ah, yes, that enemy has exactly 10 health, so I won't bother using my standard spell on it. Ooh, yeah. I forget what my robe does already, but, like, make me shiny. Strategy. <laughs> I could make it all the way behind him. Yeah, this would be a really cool run for um, vampiric glasses. Alright. Of course, like, what run is that not true of? 
And it turned out he didn't die. Magnetic breakers. Neat. Let's get this. The aura is just fun. I like randomly zapping things. Also, it is a source of lightning damage while we're in the ice zone, but I wasn't really considering that. I'm just not intimidated by Act 1 anymore. So it's not like I would be optimizing for Act 1. Sure gets a lot of hits on everything within the area. I don't know, maybe I should have taken the mechanism as a hedge against the other half of the perfect time crystal. Of course, last run we didn't actually see a single curse shop. Oh yeah, those magnetic breakers really, really sealed the fight there. This basic is getting multiple hits per swing, so it's not really dealing 4 damage, is it? Okay, yeah, more projectiles. As expected, I didn't feel the need to check the description to see whether it shot more projectiles. Crit rate, crit chance at low health. Another aura. I wonder if you can have multiple damaging auras. It doesn't have the text like the sprites do. Of like, yo, these don't stack. <laughs> oh, hey, it's the curse shop. Don't think I want any of these. Alright, well. I guess I'd like to finish off one of the enemy skulls, because it's almost empty, and then I'll just fight with one skull active. the skull? Yeah. Even went partly into the next one. Oh right, the enemies are in a different formation because I left the skull active. Ow. 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 Keep expecting fewer enemies to be, like, attacking still. Yeah, well, we, we won. Let's just get some crit chance. It's boss time. Hmm, wind basic is not going to do us a very good service in the next act. Nor is wind standard. Uh oh. Oh, whoa! I got lucky there. Made it between some of the stuff. Two 
again, you get a signature. Didn't want to use up all my dodging room. I thought she was higher up in the room and I wouldn't be able to run past up top. I probably could have. Yeah, you can stutter step. Seismic entry. Ooh. Launches these even higher and summons rippling earth waves on landing because it's enhanced. So normally it doesn't do those waves. seen with roads before? Oh! Ah! That was pretty rude of you, knights. Evading my stuff. I wasn't sure how much I wanted to break through the barrel and escape, but I don't like fighting those shadow men in narrow places. Maybe backed away from the chest in case of mimics. And just dash around the barrel. Rest in peace my signature charge, though. Deals a lot of damage. Something you can't really tell when you're just trying it out after a boss. Alright, good room. Profited health. Perforating jet basic. Oh, that's the... Yeah, that's what we've got. Gimme. What's it even do as a result of the enhancement? Each activation has an additional hit. I guess maybe all the hits are why I feel like I'm getting way more signatures charged than I usually do. Man, I feel like I've said this about a lot of basics, but this feels like the best basic in the game, besides maybe the Chaos basic. Second of Triumph, Pinata. All these are boring. Oh! <laughs> Did I catch all of them in that? I wish there was a way to have a constant comparison of like how much gold I would have made with the uh hand of Midas versus how much I'm actually making with the um, journal. I feel like I've been taking hits fairly regularly, so the hand would have probably been better. Right now I'm performing pretty well. Wait, I can just... <laughs> that's not though, that's boring. Let's do it. Hmm. Lost Seismic Entry. I was hoping it would not take the Enhanced spell, but uh, we took a risk and it didn't quite pay off. It okay, looks like I found all the special rooms and emptied all the enemy skulls. Lost Seismic Entry! You, you were fun for a bit. Ow! Okay, I apparently forgot everything I knew about fighting rogue-type enemies. Do 
I potion by? Nah, we should be able to make it to the shop next floor and... I mean, if... If the potion next floor doesn't nearly top me off, then I just deserve to lose. I think that's how it works. Oh yeah, also we get a heal from our flask that we traded our enhanced spell away for. I was afraid of stuff like dashing up to me immediately. So that's why I released my uh, signature just a little early. Can I? <laughs> Get on. Yeah, let's not do it that way. It's funny to think about, though. Flame Strike Basic? Why are you offering me all these enhanced basics? That's like the third basic I've been offered. They evaded the big hit. Notice the, the first knife that comes down deals a lot more damage. Token of Commerce. That's the the guy you can sell relics to. I could drop it if I don't necessarily want to encounter him, but I might as well sell the Token of Commerce to him. If nothing else. Uh room is narrow, uh, but we did it. <laughs> We'd really be going all in on not getting hit. We do have plenty of money right now, though. Wouldn't mind a silver spinning top, but I think if I pick this, I just die to wind boss, because it seems like a lot of wind boss, you don't want to dash, you want to actually use your movement speed. <laughs> I will take the armor, though. I'm aware I'm taking a risk. Oh, I never found the relic shop here. Maybe the actual strategy is now we just spend all our money. And then we don't have any money to lose. Uh, right. <laughs> I panicked when I saw enemies and forgot how to close the map. Because, like, we have the enemy skulls unlit. Why are there enemies? Well, because they don't make you kill every enemy. Not exactly that hard a question. But you're still a little surprised when you actually encounter them. Yeah. Fancy dead end. No, I should have gone up, so I wouldn't have to break my speed with two more dashes. Maybe I should have taken a warp somewhere? Alright, we found the relic shop. Chance for Earth Drill? It's on sale? I do like that whole series. Just cursed relic lures cooldowns. I don't know what two tokens at the same time would even do. Let's see, I might buy the potion after the mid-boss, but right now, between our renewing potion vial and the crystal, we would actually have full health if we perfect this. Oh, but it's Strafe Archer, which I'm well known for making huge mistakes at, against. Like, not realizing it's gonna move again. No. Except that we got him. Oh, and there was health in the chest. 
Alright, is there really like no relic and no spell I'm interested in? I, I like my charge signature. I don't think I want another token. Alright, that's a basic. What's wind week to? Fire? Let's take crashing meteor at least. Even on enhanced, it might help out. <laughs> Spell and four. Uh, maybe that was worth throwing the signature. I was worried my signature charge just was gonna run out. Alright, cool fight. I'm gonna heal the full from our potion flask, even if there's nothing in the chest. Homing flares. Let's see, we've already been through water zone. Oh, it's this spell. Yeah, this seems good. So do I want crashing meteor or I think against normal enemies, magnetic breakers are gonna do better. Maybe I should swap them back to the slot they were already in, so I don't get confused. Been hitting left bumper for those for a while. I'm feeling really strong right now. Or that was an easy room. But like the homing orbiting spell, Rather, the, the, it's a homing spell that sticks near you until it's needed. That'll defend us against a lot of room openings. That normally, like, something pops out and hits you right away. It's nice to have a spell that does that. I think that's part of why our ice run last episode was so good. We had, like, multiple orbiters. I like having at least one. Oh yeah, he was guaranteed to show up. But can I use my signature somewhere? Not sure if it says no. But I can get Mock Stunner enhanced. Oh, I haven't actually found the potion room. <laughs> er, potion room? Portal room. I was like, oh yeah, I'll just warp. Turns out I need to actually walk. So this should be worth like 200 gold, I think. Boom. I didn't actually look at my gold in advance, but I feel like I got a lot. Maybe it also makes sense, like, at the end of the floor to sell the journal of Midas. Ow. Ow again. Walked, like, right back into the mines. Didn't even see him prepping that. Alright, that was a bad fight. Okay, I'm not poisoned anymore. That'll heal me for free based on map completion. froze so many enemies, actually. I don't have- oh wait, my dash has freezing. I was like, I don't have a freezing spell. <laughs> Not strictly true. Again, based on map completion. 
I might just sell it too. <laughs> Ow. Uh, actually, I'm gonna lose like a hundred health in the span of a few seconds. And uh, yeah, I think we actually want the healing. Although, if it buys one potion for us. Yeah, what's even here? Critical hit damage. <laughs> and aura. Oh, aura's a phone. Hmm. We'd probably like to finish off that enemy skull. Okay, well, let's, like, get in the journal. We've got 85 money. So that was worth 50. Maybe keep the knapsack, at least for now. So this isn't the last floor. But, like, I think it's done its job. Hopefully. Unless I constantly ruined it by taking damage all the time. In which case, it wouldn't do anything for the rest of the run, too. Okay, 100% floor expl exploration. And it's Smith last time. Alright, that went pretty well. I think we do sell the the knapsack. We're gonna heal the almost full just off the floor transition. This is the most I've ever used Creamire the Collector. Yeah, Potion Flask has this to 494. Yeah, this floor would be the last opportunity for it to even do anything. Because it doesn't trigger off after the third boss. I was worried I was going to get jumped on, so that's why I dashed away. Oh, I should have maybe waited for spells. By which I mean everything's fine, don't worry about anything at any point. Tortoise shield. Oh, it's cursed. Increases armor but decreases damage. I need a lot of wind spells for that chest. I think... No, our stock spell is fire. What even did... Oh, the enemies did earth damage. So yeah, now I also need an earth spell. I don't know, if I was able to buy a wind spell, I could probably lead that enemy over there. So I'm gonna not kill that enemy for now. You do not have a single wind spell. Probably don't need to kill the enemy for much of a purpose anyway. I should have looked at what the enhancement did. Yeah, I wouldn't have minded having another wind spell, because Earth Boss is next. Enhanced on this. Each bounce now creates an electric burst. Got it. <laughs> we uh, just sold that. A little late for Ancient Fountain Pen. I wouldn't mind an Assassin's Blade if we can save up for it. I haven't found the red room yet. Of course, we do have that armor of greed, so if we end up taking too many hits, we ruin our chances of buying a relic. 
Might also ruin our chance at buying a potion. Oh, wow. Turns out approaching three archers in a narrow space is awful. Especially when they can root you. I think anybody that's played power defense knows about that combo. Alright, we have the gold to buy the potion now. Although we don't need the potion at this amount of health. Well, I mean it would do something. But I'm thinking we have a free 125 health coming between the screen transition because I didn't sell the uh, renewing potion vial and also the um, the actual health crystal at the start of the uh, explore. Does that bounce extra fast when you use it in a narrow space? Increases damage but store prices are increased. Oh, it's the other half of the magician it. Outfit. Increases damage but lowers activation speed. I'll probably take the Golden Saber of Envy right before the end of the floor. Let's see, what was I thinking about here? Saber. I think I'll see how this fight goes. If I perfect it, I'm gonna buy the Assassin's Blade. But I might need to potion. Getting redemption against Assassin mini boss? Maybe a little. Oh, yeah, there was some health in there, so yeah, we're definitely fine. We got Royal Flush, which is just gonna be a little free damage with our air spells, I guess. Yeah, obviously no need to buy any amount of health. Obviously no use for money anymore. Got three cursed relics. All of which are gonna do something. Two of them increase armor. I think our only defense... Oh yeah, renewing potion vial is a, technically a defense relic. Our only defense is curses. <laughs> kind of funny. Okay, renewing the potion vial plus crystal fills us up. Oh yeah, also I think our robe has some armor on it, and it's a shiny robe. Oh, I should have shot some projectiles to clear out trees. Two, ow. Three, four, five. That was a lot of damage. Three. Oh, yeah, the signature. Wait, that means I miscounted, because the signature is always at the end. <laughs> Killed him in the middle of getting beaten up. Well, if there's any health in this chest, I think we get max health before the final boss. Toxic Bullas. I think Homing Flares will be good for Phase 2. Although, maybe we want the Meteor? No, it's not enhanced. Yeah, Toxic Bolas don't really do much to the final boss that Magnetic Breakers don't. And we can't replace our signature, so we're just gonna have to deal with the fact that he resists chaos. Oh yeah, if I line up with these... Bam! <laughs> Can destroy those in the cutscene. The reach on our basic is gonna be quite nice. Because there's a lot of stuff he does in this phase where you don't really want to get next to him. Ow. Yeah, like it's easy to get caught by that if you're right up against him. Anyway, 
That's more health vials than we even- er, health orbs, not vials. Than we even are gonna need to fill up. Okay, now we need them all, because I got hit. I don't even know what hit him. But it apparently wasn't in time to stun. Oh. Wow. That was so bad. I think we're still likely to win. Yeah, I got him. Yep. We're worthy of becoming a Wizard of Legend. So we actually went two in a row again. I think that's again. I believe we won our first round where we had Chaos Dash. Neat. I like winning. Show me the spell! <laughs> Chaotic Buster. So, did one of our auras finish him off? I know I, like, threw the magnetic breakers, but it didn't, because he dashed out of it. Wait. Did we just heal again from transitioning to the credits? I heard the healing sound. Or I guess it was from going here? Except you always heal the full here. Yeah, we... We know what we had on this run. I'm not gonna belabor the museum visit. Plus, I'm kind of running out of real life time where I can be recording. I... <laughs> I was cutting this episode close. We still have time to... to manage things in the lobby. I've got eight minutes. But, like, I don't want to waste time in the museum. Show me the chaotic buster. Oh, it's that! And it, like, splits apart and stuff. Hold to charge up and release an unstable cluster of chaos orbs that unleash a barrage of strikes on any enemy hit. So you can... I see. Anyway. I think this actually gets demoted to this position. And we put the new chaos spell on our signature. Okay, you cannot... Oh. It's interesting. So it wasn't charging, but you can still hold it in front of you. That looks like a lot of damage, but I can't say I added up all the numbers. Oh yeah, we got some new signatures too. Signature version of Seismic Entry. Three hops. Signature Toxic Bolas. <laughs> okay, just entangle a whole room, why don't you? Signature homing flares. Uh... That seems incredible. I guess all the charge signatures do, but... Let's see, then... Yeah, chaotic cluster. Oh yeah, let's swap out our other spells as well, after we buy spells. Snare track... Is a new dash. We're only really interested in switching out our basic now. Do I have any basics I haven't used yet? I don't think so. We're missing the last aqua basic. Wait. Oh, that's a dash. Okay. Oh, is this it? No. I think I want to buy some relics, so that'll be it. Neat. Now what's the... Ooh. I like it. I guess we'll... Oh, I think we've had that in a run before. Had 
that in a run before, but now we have it unlocked. Oh, neat. I don't know, that might be new. Or I've just not gotten it. Oh, okay. It's not quite what I thought it was. Anyway, back to the Chaos spell. Autograph pad. Damage and movement speed is increased while signature arcana is charged. I think I've remarked before it would be interesting with Infinity Marble. Oh, the chocolate that we just had. Oh, I can actually unlock the emerald. Uh, once both these Chaos spells rotate out, we're gonna do an all Earth run, I guess. Because we bought the Earth Gem. Let's right, so look at the sprite. Elven ears. Oh, that's the become disappeared. Let's see. So, what do we want to start with? Ha! No, not that one. Wait, it's rated as a defense relic? I guess yeah, it gives you health and armor. And you ignore stun and knockback when taking damage. If you have seven Earth Arcana, so everything including the stock slot. I don't know, runs where you just get money and then buy things are kind of interesting because you're more reliant on what you randomly find in shops. So I kind of want to just keep going like Glove of Midas, Journal of Midas. Journal's probably more variants. Let's swap out our robe though. And then that'll be the setup for next time. I haven't used Spirit yet. And, like, it's purple, which is, like, Chaos's color, sort of. So, uh, obviously, when we have two Chaos spells, we've got to go for Spirit, right? Hello! Max health and healing received just feels like a, a coward robe. But, like, what was I using last time? Oh, increased damage and increased armor. Yeah, that at least does something aggressive. Ah, oh, let's, let's use it. I want to see how much extra healing you get. Although, when am I going to heal when I actually know in advance how much I should be healing for? Oh, health orbs. I know they're worth 25. Anyway, that'll be it for this part. See ya!